Okay, it's time to get started with the show. Please make yourself comfortable and enjoy our show. You'll be seeing a lot more singing, a lot more dancing, and a lot more me. Lola Falana was dazzling, talented, and a true sensation of the 20th century. Yet amidst her skyrocketing fame, she found professional doors slamming shut on her. But why? Was it a scandal, a feud, or something more? I grew up to be an entertainer, went to Las Vegas, Broadway, made a lot of money, became famous, bought expensive things. I kinda lost track of my insides. Join us as we have a look at the career of Lola Falana. Lola's Rise to Fame Lola Falana wasn't just another name in the vast sky of show business, she was a comet blazing her own trail. Growing up in a modest household of mixed ethnicity, her parents may not have envisioned the dizzying heights that their daughter would soon reach, but her talent would be undeniable as the morning sun. From a young age, she had showed an unwavering passion for the arts. When she was barely in her teens, she was already making waves in local talent shows. Her voice was not only heard, it resonated, and her dance moves were more than steps. They were expressions of a soul that was destined to shine. By her late teens, she had not only entered the world of entertainment, she was also setting it ablaze. But her journey was no walk in the park. Think about the 1960s, an era that was rife with social and racial challenges, especially for African-American women in show business. Yet she danced through these barriers with grace of a gazelle and the strength of a lioness. Her big break came in the most cinematic of fashion. While performing in a Harlem nightclub, she caught the attention of Sammy Davis Jr. This wasn't only luck, it was destiny. Davis was a titan of the entertainment industry and knew talent when he saw it, and in Lola, he saw a star that was ready to be born. He wasn't only impressed, he was moved to action, casting her in his Broadway musical titled Golden Boy. This was not only a role, it was the ignition of a skyrocketing career. From Broadway, her journey took her to the silver screen and then across the ocean to Italy, where she not only entered the film industry, she conquered it. Her friends back home watched in awe as the girl from New Jersey became an international sensation. However, she didn't only rely on her talent, she honed it. She was a student of the craft, constantly evolving and never settling, and in an industry where many were content with the modicum of success, she was a relentless pursuer of excellence. This drive would lead her back to the United States where the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas awaited. The Height of Success As the 1970s dawned, Lola Falana didn't only enter the decade, she owned it. By this time, she was no longer a promising talent, she was a full-fledged star, dazzling audiences far and wide with her unique blending of charisma, talent, and sheer star power. She became known as the Queen of Las Vegas, a title that was not given but earned, and her shows weren't only performances, they were experiences. A blending of soulful singing, electrifying dance moves, and an aura that captivated audiences from all walks of life. She commanded the stage with the confidence of a seasoned veteran, and her performances, not mere musical acts, were a spectacle. An amalgamation of soulful R&B, vibrant disco beats, and a dash of Broadway-style showmanship. It was this irresistible cocktail of genres that had made her shows not only popular, but absolutely legendary. Falana's appeal transcended the boundaries of the stage. She was a regular feature on television, gracing the screens of countless viewers who were enamored by her charm and dynamism. Her appearances were not only guest spots, they were events, eagerly anticipated and talked about long after the camera stopped rolling. From variety shows to talk shows, her presence was a guarantee of high ratings and captivated audiences. Her cinematic ventures added another layer to her already illustrious career, her foray into film was not only an extension of her career, it showed her versatility as an artist, whether it was in Hollywood or in the Italian film industry. She had brought the same passion and commitment to her roles, earning not only critical acclaim, but also a devoted fan following. It wasn't only her talent that made her stand out, it would be her style. She was a fashion icon, a trendsetter whose outfits and hairstyles were as much a part of her act as the singing and dancing and every appearance was a statement, with each costume a work of art. She not only wore the clothes, she wore her personality, her confidence, and her spirit. Behind the glitz and glamour, however, would be a woman of substance, 
Her success was not handed to her on a silver platter. It was hard-earned and the result of years of perseverance, resilience, and an unwavering belief in her own abilities. In an industry where many had succumbed to the pressures and temptations, she stood firm, guided by her faith and her values. Her influence would extend beyond the realms of entertainment. She was a role model, especially for young black women who had saw her as a reflection of their own aspirations and potential. She broke down racial and gender barriers, opening doors that had long been closed to performers of color. And she wasn't only performing, she was also making a statement, challenging the norm and redefining what it meant to be a black woman in show business. The 1970s saw her dabbling in music, adding yet another dimension to her already multifaceted career. Her music was not only about melody and rhythm, it was about storytelling, conveying emotions and experiences that resonated with her audiences. Whether it was a soulful ballad or a high-energy disco track, her voice had the power to move, inspire, and entertain. It was during this period that her fame would reach its zenith. She was everywhere, on billboards, magazine covers, television screens, and radio airwaves. Her name would be synonymous with entertainment, her image a symbol of success and glamour. To see her perform was to witness a master at work a performer who could captivate an audience with a mere glance or a subtle gesture. But as we know, the world of show business is as unpredictable as it is exciting. And just when it seemed as though she was invincible, at the height of her fame and success, a twist in her story was about to unfold. It was an incident that would not only shock her fans, but also leave a long-lasting impact. The Tonight Show Ban – Rumors and Speculations in the kaleidoscope world of show business, where stars will often burn bright and fast, her sudden absence from the celebrated platform of The Tonight Show struck many as both baffling and intriguing. The Tonight Show was not only any television program, it was an institution, a cultural phenomenon helmed by the legendary Johnny Carson. To be invited would be an honor and a rite of passage in the entertainment world. So when news broke out that Lola Falana, a veritable superstar of her time, was barred from appearing on the show, it sent shockwaves through the industry. But why? What could have possibly led to such a drastic decision? One prevailing theory was that of a personal feud. The entertainment industry, much like any other, is not immune to conflicts and clashes of ego. Could it have been a fallout with Johnny Carson himself, the man who was known for his wit, but also for the behind-the-scenes influence? Carson, as charismatic as he was on screen, was also known for being fiercely protective of his turf. Then there were whispers of a political disagreement. The 1970s were a time of social and political upheaval, and many celebrities were vocal about their views. Lola Falana, an influential figure, was no stranger to expressing her own opinion. Another speculation centered around her association with other celebrities who had fallen out of favor with Johnny Carson. Most notably, her close ties with Wayne Newton, another entertainer who had a very public and bitter feud with Carson and had raised eyebrows. Could she have been caught in the crossfire of this high-profile spat by association? It was not uncommon for Hollywood alliances to determine one's access to opportunity. Amidst all of these speculations, another angle considered was that of an off-screen incident. The world of late night is as much about behind-the-scenes dynamics as it is about what takes place in front of the camera, and could there have been an incident, maybe a misunderstanding or disagreement with key figures on the show? The answer remained elusive, hidden behind the curtains of celebrity and power play. Some would suggest the ban was due to her rising prominence and the threat it posed to established norms. As a black woman dominating in a field that was predominantly white and male, was her banishment a subtle way of reasserting the status quo, a reminder of the boundaries that still existed in the so-called progressive world of show business? As the rumor swirled, so did the impact on her career. Being barred from such a major platform was not a minor setback. It had its ramifications that cast a shadow on her otherwise sparkling career. The ban, irrespective of its reason, had marked a turning point on her journey, a juncture that saw a shifting in her life from an unstoppable force to a star caught in a vortex of speculation and controversy. And despite the widespread curiosity and potential impact, the exact details remain shrouded in mystery. Lola Falana and the team behind The Tonight Show were tight-lipped about the reasons, adding to the aura of intrigue and speculation. 
and this silence would only fuel more rumors as the lack of a clear explanation left the door wide open. Impact on Falana's career The ban from the show marked a pivotal moment in her illustrious career. The direct impact was multifaceted. Firstly, it would reduce her visibility in the mainstream media. The Tonight Show was not just a program, it was a cultural institution, where stars were made and maintained. Being banned meant that she was deprived of a critical platform for promotion and exposure to a more broad audience. This reduction in visibility inevitably led to a slow but noticeable decline in the momentum she had built over the years. It coincided with a shifting in entertainment trends. The late 1970s and early 80s saw the rise of new genres and stars, with the entertainment landscape undergoing significant change. Her absence from key platforms like The Tonight Show meant that she was less able to adapt and maintain her relevance in the public eye. The industry, known for its what's next attitude, would rapidly be marching forward, and without a presence on such a critical show, her connection with the mainstream audience would be weakening. However, it would be an oversimplification to attribute the changes in her career solely to the ban. She was not only an entertainer but also an artist and her journey was as much about her personal growth and choices as it was about external factors. In the years that followed, her focus would turn toward more meaningful and personally gratifying projects. She began to explore roles and opportunities that resonated more with her values and beliefs. This period saw her engaging more deeply with her faith, which played an increasingly significant role in her life choices and career decisions. Despite all of the challenges, her talent remained undeniable and her legacy continued to grow, albeit in a different direction than initially anticipated. She had ventured into philanthropy and advocacy, using her platform to champion causes that were close to her heart. Her shift towards charitable work and religious involvement was not only a career choice, but a reflection of her evolving personal identity. The ban also had unintended positive consequences, adding an element of intrigue to her persona and for her loyal fans and new generation of admirers, she became not only a star, but a symbol of resilience and a woman who faced industry challenges with grace and dignity. Wayne Newton and Johnny Carson – The Feud In show business, few rivalries were as compelling and tumultuous as the feud between Wayne Newton and Johnny Carson. This discord, shimmering beneath the glamorous veneer of the entertainment industry, not only impacted the careers of these two icons, but also had indirect repercussions on Lola Falana's career. Wayne Newton was at one time a regular guest on The Tonight Show, and his relationship with Carson initially appeared cordial, even friendly. However, beneath the facade of camaraderie laid a brewing storm of resentment and rivalry that would eventually erupt into one of the most talked about feuds in the industry. The roots of this conflict can be traced back to the 1980s, a period marked by Newton's rising stardom in Las Vegas. During that time, Carson was also a significant presence in Las Vegas, not only as a performer, but as a business investor. The clash between the two titans of entertainment began over something seemingly unrelated to their show business careers, a bid to purchase the Aladdin Hotel in Las Vegas. In what read like a script from a Hollywood drama, the pair had found themselves on opposite sides of a contentious battle for ownership of the iconic property. Newton, backed by other investors, ultimately emerged victorious, a win that reportedly did not set well with Carson. The business rivalry marked a turning point in their relationship, transforming it from professional cordiality to personal animosity. The fallout from the business deal would reverberate beyond the boardrooms and into the public sphere. Carson was known for his sharp wit and often biting humor and began to target Newton in his monologues on The Tonight Show. The jabs, veiled under the guise of comedy, were deeply personal, often alluding to Newton's masculinity and sexuality. And for Newton, these relentless barbs were not only hurtful, they were an attack on his persona and public image. The situation escalated when Newton, unable to tolerate the contentious ridicule, confronted Carson directly. In a move that was bold and unprecedented, he walked into Carson's office at NBC in Burbank and confronted him face to face, reportedly threatening physical violence if the jokes didn't end. This confrontation, while resulting in the end of his on-air jabs, did little to mend the relationship. For Lola Falana, her association with Newton would place her in an uncomfortable position indirectly entangled in their high-profile feud. Lola and Wayne, Friendship and Fallout 
Lola and Newton's friendship was well known in the industry, in an environment where allegiances and associations could determine one's career trajectory, her close ties with Newton potentially played a role in her ban from The Tonight Show. Whether it was by guilt, in association, or a cautionary stance taken by management, the exact reasons remain speculative. Nonetheless, the association with Newton, and by extension his feud with Carson, cast a long shadow over her relationship with the show. Falana and Newton's bond was rooted in mutual respect and admiration for each other's artistry. They would first cross paths in the mid-1960s at a time when both were carving their niches in the competitive world of entertainment. Falana with her electrifying stage presence and Newton with his enchanting voice had found a kinship in their shared passion for performing. This camaraderie blossomed over the years, with the duo often sharing the stage in Las Vegas shows. However, the strength of the friendship was put to the test against the backdrop of Newton's tough relationship with Johnny Carson. And for Falana, her association with Newton inadvertently entangled her in the conflict, a situation that was both delicate and potentially detrimental to her career. As Newton had faced public ridicule and personal attacks from Carson, Falana's loyalty to her friend would be unwavering. In an industry where alliances can be fleeting and self-serving, her steadfast support for Newton became a rarity. This allegiance, however, came with its own set of challenges. In the highly interconnected world of show business, friends and foes are often intertwined, and Falana's closeness to Newton meant that she could potentially be collateral damage in his feud with Carson. The situation became particularly tense when rumors began to circulate about Falana's ban from the show, and how it was in part due to her friendship with Newton. These rumors were never confirmed and only added a layer of complexity to her career. An environment where appearances and connections play a critical role, her association with a figure who was at odds with one of television's most influential personalities would be risky. Despite all the challenges, her relationship with Newton remained strong. Their friendship was based on more than professional admiration. It was a bond that was forged through shared experience in the spotlight and a mutual understanding of the pressures that come with fame. This connection, while potentially costly in terms of her relationship with The Tonight Show, would be a source of strength and solidarity for both of them. The dynamics of Falana and Newton's friendship reflect the multifaceted nature of relationships in the industry underscoring the notion that in the world of showbiz, personal relationships can have far-reaching implications, influencing not only public perception, but also professional opportunity. And for Falana, her friendship with Newton was a double-edged sword. It provided her with a supportive ally, while also potentially limiting her opportunities in certain circles. Lola's Life Beyond the Stage Lola Falana's journey through the glittering world of show business is a saga marked by dazzling highs and amazing challenges. Beyond the bright lights of the stage and the allure of the camera, her life evolved in many ways that were both unexpected and inspiring, painting a picture of resilience and transformation. As the curtains began to close on her mainstream entertainment career, particularly following the fallout from The Tonight Show, the nuances of her association with Wayne Newton and her path took a turn towards personal introspection and spiritual awakening. This new chapter was not a retreat from the public eye, but a redirection of her vibrant energy towards more fulfilling endeavors. In 1987, a significant turn of events came in the form of life-altering diagnosis. Lola would be diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, a condition that not only challenged her physically, but also reshaped her perspective on life. Imagine the Queen of Las Vegas, once the epitome of vitality and exuberance, now facing a battle with a debilitating illness. However, Lola, true to her spirit, faced the challenge with courage and grace. Her battle with MS was a pivotal point in her life, compelling her to slow down and reassess her priorities and to look beyond the temporal glories of fame and fortune. It was during this period of introspection that she turned to her faith, finding solace and strength in spiritual beliefs. Her faith, which had always been a cornerstone of her life, now took center stage, guiding her through the trials and tribulations of her illness. Her deepening religious convictions had led her to embrace Catholicism, a decision that marked a new beginning in her personal journey. It was not only a source of comfort, it was a catalyst for a renewed sense of purpose. She began to devote herself to charitable work and religious causes, channeling her celebrity status towards advocacy and philanthropy. 
Despite the challenges posed by her health, her contribution to the arts and her community remained significant. She became an advocate for those living with MS, using her platform to raise awareness about the condition while inspiring others who may be facing similar struggles. Her life beyond the stage saw her nurturing a deep connection with family and her roots. She moved back to Philadelphia to be closer to her parents, embracing the warmth and support that her family circle gave her. The return to her roots was a reflection of her evolving priorities, highlighting the importance that she placed on personal relationships and a grounded, meaningful life.